Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture to see how those incidents may or may not affect our daily lives. Listen, housekeeping, please hit that like button. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. And once you subscribe, you'll be open to a plethora of movies and, and television series that I have reviewed. And you will also be opened to my pop culture chats. Listen, baby, I get off work, open up the news, and what do I see? What do I see? I am about to share my screen. Child, let's get back down here. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Sean Diddy Combs sued for sexual assault by former producer. Now, this is number five. But what's different about this one is that this one is recent. This happened in 2022, between 2022 and 2023. So this is very, very, very recent. Y'all, Diddy is down bad. You hear me? Diddy is down bad. So this article is written by Stephen Horowitz. And let's get into it. This is with a variety. All right. It says here, after a string of lawsuits from former associates and employees, John Diddy Combs is facing yet another legal battle as a former male employee has filed a fifth sexual assault suit against the mogul. Producer Rodney Little Rod Jones filed the suit against Combs in the Southern District of New York on Monday. That's today alleging that Combs made unwanted sexual advances and forced him to hire sex workers and engage in relations with them. Now, does that sound familiar to you? That sounds eerily, eerily familiar. Eerily familiar. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. It says here, Jones is seeking $30 million in the case, which listed several other parties he claims did not adequately monitor, warn, or supervise Combs' actions. In his filings, Jones names Combs' son, Justin, not the babies, why you got the babies in all this? His chief of staff, Christina Corum, Universal Music Group CEO, Lucian Grange, former Motown Records CEO, Ethiopia, have Tamarin and numerous record labels and Jane's and Jane's Doe's. He refers to all parties as a RICO enterprise, suggesting they collectively violated the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Listen, this is too much. See, this takes it out of the realm of, of, of <clears throat> and I don't want to say just a, 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 a SA, but this, because that's, big within itself uh shout out to cassie but this is taking it to uh almost federal levels because you're remembering cassie's um lawsuit she talked about the different things that diddy would do the different places that he would take her uh and all of those different things so this is almost paralleling what cassie said in her lawsuit so we're going to continue we are going to continue child Here it is. <clears throat> Jones is seeking 30 million in the case, which lists several other parties he claims did not adequately. Okay, I read that. I read that. I'm so sorry, y'all. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's get down. In the suit obtained by Variety. See, I need to get my hands on this lawsuit. Uh, let's hope I can pull it up from New York. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. In the suit obtained by Variety, Jones, who produced six songs on the rapper's Grammy nominated The Love album off the grid that released in September 2023 outlines an intensive, extensive list of accusation. He claims that Combs, number one, acquired, used, and distribu distributed ecstasy, cocaine, and other illicit drugs. He displayed illegal firearms and laced alcohol beverages provided to minors and S workers at his various homes among other allegations. The suits also redacts the names of a rapper 
uh, listen to this now, a rapper and an R&B singer who consorted with underage girls and sex workers. Now, this is recent. This is real recent. Real is recent. And the thing that got me that when I read this and what stood out to me right here, displaying of the illegal firearms, uh, because you remember, uh, what was his protege name a long time ago? Shine. You remember uh, they had talked about Shine and Shine um, being um, uh, convicted of, of with the firearms. But they, if I remember correctly, and anybody who says, and I'm, if this is not a fact, go ahead and to correct me in the comments. But didn't he supposedly uh, get the gun from Diddy? I'm not sure. But we heard in the other lawsuits that there was there were guns uh, being displayed and things like that, and also drugs. Child. Who is this right here? Now, this right here is what got me shook. Who is this? Who are they? It says and. So who are they? Who is this rapper? Who is this R and B singer? And you know, you know, with all of these lawsuits, now the one thing that's different from this lawsuit than all the other lawsuits is the fact that this is a male, so um, uh, a man. So the other ones have been women. So I am very, very curious, 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 because now we don't even know. So we have a rapper and an R and B singer. It could be, it could be woman or man. We just don't know. We're fooling around with Diddy right about now. Uh, Jones claims that he lived. Now this is what's this is what's interesting or or kind of suspicious to me that he said he lived with Combs from September 2022 to 2023 and was repeatedly a victim of sexual harassment from Combs and subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction. In the suit, Jones says that he resided with Combs at several of his residents in New York, excuse me, in New York, Los Angeles, Florida and a rented yacht in the Virgin Islands. Y'all, I'm just going to tell y'all right now, y'all going into the music business and all of this other stuff. Uh, one thing that's got me real shook up is these rock yachts. Y'all stop going on these yachts because y'all can't escape a yacht. Y'all can run from a home. You can, you can do all of those things. But when y'all are out there on that water, unless you can swim 20 miles, baby, y'all stay off those yachts. Stay off of them and stay out of these people's homes. But child Diddy is really down bad because he can't pay everybody. During his time with Combs, Jones said that he recorded hours of audio. <laughs> and video footage of him and his staff engaging in seriously illegal activity. Baby. What was he doing, little Rod? What kind of illegal activity was he doing? He states that he was sub was subject to constant, unsolicited, and unauthorized groping and touching of his anus. Listen, I got this highlighted for a reason. <clears throat> because this was one of the things that uh, uh, I remember they were talking about. Um, I remember hearing, uh, and all of this, this right here is allegedly. Uh, that this was one of the reasons why uh, Diddy didn't like for Jamie Foxx to come over because Jamie Foxx used to always record stuff. And I don't think he, I, I, and that would bother Diddy. So this thing right here, I am curious how he was able to do all this and get out. He may need to do a master class. He states that he was subjected to constant uh, unsolicited and unauthorized groping and touching of his anus and was forced to work in Combs bathroom as the moguls showered nude. He said he raised the issue with Coram, to which she responded, you know, Sean will be Sean. Uh oh, uh oh, because you remember when I told you back in when Cassie had sued all those people. One of the things that a lot of these corporations uh, do not like is to have their name put in this, and particularly if they're employees, because that sets them up for something else. And I remember a lawyer on YouTube. If I can find her video, I will link it. But she was talking about that, uh, and I'm just paraphrasing. If I find her video, she'll be able to explain it so much better. But she was basically, and I'm paraphrasing, saying that this was the reason why Diddy was removed from 
a lot of these corporations because there is some kind of um, insurance policy or insurance claim or something like that that the CEOs have to or some kind of. Um, I hope it's the insurance claim, but it's some kind of something that because they have this particular uh, policy or they have this particular thing that this would open them up to different types of lawsuits and they don't want that. So they rather get rid of him so they won't have to play the, pay the pay out these claims or pay out something about this policy. I'm going to go back and I'm going to look it up and I'm going to see if I can attach it. If not, I'm going to definitely try to put it in my community page so, and, and share it on my community page so that y'all can go to her video and see it. But she was saying it's some kind of thing about him being a CEO. There's something, there's some kind of policy that the, Co the corporations do not want to have to uh, pay out. And she says, you know, Sean will be Sean. And this was his way of showing that he likes you. Baby, you ain't got to have nobody. What? Why having somebody play for you in the shower shows that you like you. And, 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 and for, for people, other people within all of this to act like this is normal when it's not. It may be something normal in, in the guise of Hollywood, but it's not normal. Not for you to get, not for you to play music. Come on now. Among the claims in the suit, Jones states that he believed Combs drugged him on February 2nd, 2023, and that he woke up naked in bed with Combs and two sex workers. He alleges that Diddy was grooming him for sex and encouraged him to re recruit prostitutes by asking him to wear a bad boy baseball cap at a Miami, a Miami establishment to signal any sex work workers he approached that Cone was trying to solicit them. Now we getting into the minutia of it all. So this is how that worked because, you know, we, we never know how these things start, but that's interesting to see that this is how that worked. Mm. Elsewhere, Jones says that Cone flaunted guns and spoke of getting away with shooting people, divulging that Cone said he was responsible for a shooting at a New York City nightclub in 1999 with rapper Sean. You remember I talked about that earlier because it was something about uh, him possessing the gun or him having this, the gun. And then um, that Sean, they, the way I heard it allegedly <clears throat> is that Combs was the one that had the gun and that they said that Combs was the one that uh, shot the gun, but he paid Sean to take the fall for him. Now that's all allegedly, but that's what I, that, that, what initially was heard and this is why you saw j-lo skit 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 skedaddle out of there so quick because she didn't want nobody to to to, to pose her or anything like that Joe. jones also stated that an altercation between combs and his son justin at a los angeles recording studio led to one man getting shot in the stomach combs allegedly told jones to lie to the police instead of saying that the man and, and instead say the man was in a hit was hit in a drive-by shooting. This is too much. This is too daggone much. What are y'all thinking about this? Y'all leave it down in the comments and let me know what y'all thinking. Jones names uh, other celebrities in the suit, recalling that Combs forced him to watch a music, um, a video of musician Stevie J. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Jones named other celebrities recalling that Combs forced him to watch a video of musician Stevie J engaging in sex with another man. Oh, my Lord. Screenshots of the video are included in the suit. It is not a funny matter. Y'all, I'm going through this article and I was not expecting to see all of this stuff and I am shocked. So my laughter is more of shock because I wasn't expecting to see all of this. Child, let's keep going. Let's keep going. He further alleges that Comb introduced him to actor Cuba Gooding Baby on his yacht and that Gooding physically groped and fondled him. Oh, 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 Jones also says, uh, named City Girls Young Miami 
Combs on and off and girlfriend claiming Comb instructed Miami's cousin to sexually assault him. I got, I got sound effects, y'all, and I just don't know how to act. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Baby, young Miami is all up in this mess, too. Ooh. Combs lawyer Sean Holly shared a statement with the writer refuting Jones' claims. Little Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a 30, a 30 billion loss dollar lawsuit, uh, shamelessly looking for an underserved payday, she says. His reckless name dropping about events are pure fiction and simply did not happen and is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelmingly indisputable proof that his claims are completely lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, attorney Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Now, what's interesting to me is Sean Holly, because Sean Holly used to be, um, she was initially um, Tory Lane's attorney, if I'm not mistaken. And isn't this Tyrone Blackburn, isn't he the one who, uh, I want to say that he was either associated with the, the young lady who uh, Nicki Minaj's husband, S. A. he was her attorney, or he was associated with one of the people way back when. You remember when um, T.I. and Tiny were accused of, 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 of harassment and, and assault as well? Wasn't he one of those attorneys on there? That name sounds really, really familiar, and it seems like that's where I remember him from. Let's see. Representatives and legal counsel for Jones and Gooding did not immediately respond to Variety's request for comments. Combs has been a target of numerous sexual assaults since, for his, since his former girlfriend, singer Cassie Ventura, filed a lawsuit against him in November. A week later, two other lawsuits were filed against Combs, alleging revenge porn and assault. And in December, a, a woman filed suit uh, alleging Combs arred her in 2003. Combs made a public statement that month, writing on social media, media that enough is enough. And that he did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Yeah. That was a lot. And here is the thing, because Diddy, Diddy, Diddy doesn't seem like he is going to be escaping a lot of this stuff because of the fact that so many people have talked about him over the years. Uh, with the allegedly uh, him being uh, involved in the in the shooting. Of, of of Tupac and the uh and Biggie, all of that that types of scenario. Mm -hmm. We do know that shooting that Shine was uh sent down for 10 years. Uh we also know about Diddy uh ordering people to allegedly ordering people to to beat down or grab people that he has had some um problems with or anything like that. So we have a lot of different things going on with Diddy right now that uh, he's had a lot of. And I think he's kind of reveled in that bad boy image. And now it sounds like the chickens have come home to roost. Now, according to, like I said, according to Variety and according to Sean Combs, uh, these these allegations that Mr. Uh, Lil Rod is putting up are fictional. And they have ways to prove it. But I am interested in some of these. Uh, I would love to see uh, the lawsuit. That's what I would love to see. I would love to see uh, the filing to see what he. Um... To read it for myself. That's what I would love to see. What do y'all think about this? This is a lot. It was more than what I thought it was going to be. But it is a whole lot, a whole lot of Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this, okay? So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Also, share if you care. So please tell a friend, tell a kin, tell your coworker, tell that heifer that you can't stand, that I'm over here making these videos, child. And as always, people, Bye bye